think you guys are right. I'm not too sure what to think still. I'm a bit on the fence. Do you guys think the podcasting bubble is starting to pop now or has already popped? Because according to CNBC, Amazon has shut down AMP. I don't know if you guys know what AMP is, AMP. It was their live radio station type of platform thing. They had this separate app. Um, I remember Joe Budden had a show on there. Nicki Minaj got had her queen radio on there. And this essentially was an opportunity for people to have like talk radio music shows on their platform so think of like an nts if you listen to nts but like run through the amazon side of things so there's basically like live podcasting and shit and now that service has been shut down i think after like a year and a half or something so it hasn't been that long and they really shut down and they made a big push within the hip-hop urban community they signed up a lot of podcasts i think even oh i remember i think even um nba young boy i think nba young boy had a show on amp as well if i'm not mistaken if any of you guys are fans of top or fans of nba you know that I think NBA Youngboy had his own show on there too. So they were signing loads of urban hip hop type people. And now it's shut down. So here's the story, courtesy of CNBC. It says, Amazon is shutting down its live audio service called AMP. The company confirmed. AMP allows users to host their own live show where callers can join and request to speak. It launched in March 2022 amid a frenzy around audio-only social media app Clubhouse. And as companies such as Meta, Spotify, and X, Fubin on Twitter, rolled out its own live audio features, Amazon signed up big artists such as Nicki Minaj, Lil Yachty, Pusha T to host their own shows on AMP. Oh yeah, I remember this now. True. That's interesting, isn't it? I wonder how Clubhouse is still surviving. Considering Twitter Spaces is around and considering YouTube is still doing what it's doing, I guess Clubhouse is like the voice version of like Snapchat, right? Snapchat is still around, even though there's those social media apps out there killing it. So maybe that's the same thing. But it's interesting how Clubhouse is still surviving, still thriving, even though they've got so much fucking competition out there. Because I've not listened, I've not opened my Clubhouse um, app in years. I've got an account on there, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I haven't opened it in fucking ages. I don't know what the app looks like anymore. I don't think I have the app on my phone. Do you know what I mean? So it's crazy how I don't have any idea about what it's like, but other people clearly are using it a lot. So clearly I'm in the minority and there's definitely is a big cache of people out there who are using it, enjoying it and loving every little bit about it, possibly. I would imagine so. Big up um, High Def 10. Appreciate you, bro. I just signed with Podcast One. Rolling in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'll take that deal mate honestly give me 1.6 million and this show goes to the fucking moon that's the thing as well that i mentioned with these guys man they get all this money from doing pods and the shows don't improve that much it's still the same thing it's still just a guy sitting in a room talking to a mic there's no like like honestly give me 1.6 mil i'm traveling to places i'm doing pods in different locations i'm paying for guests like i would actually pay for a guest that i want to get on hey i'll give you a grand come on my show let's have a chat like whatever do you know what i mean making it actually good improving the camera cameras and shit like actually improving the show but they don't they're just it's the same thing which i understand isn't it like if someone's gonna give 1.6 million to do the same thing fair enough but pff, they don't even try to make it fun nothing do you know what I mean like has Tipa K made a single vlog um anyway moving on so um we've made a difficult decision to close amp amazon spokesperson said the statement we learned a lot about how live mu music communities interact with process in the process which is with which we are bringing to bear as we build a new fan experience and scale on amazon music oh okay so maybe we are maybe we're jumping the gun maybe amazon amp was never meant to be a podcast thing it was meant to be a clubhouse thing and maybe they're going to launch full scale their podcast thing but it's going to be under the banner of amazon music or pot whatever it's going to be under the it's going to be another thing they're going to do and now they've got all the data right um that they've learned from the time at amp they're going to use that to inform the next decision maybe maybe who knows? But still, I wanted this is an indication of what's happening with podcasts in general. Um, and in another one, we've got an article here. Where is it? Yeah, this one, courtesy of Mashable. It says Stitcher. Do you guys remember Stitcher? Stitcher, one of the oldest podcasting apps, is shutting down, which is a big deal because in my space of listening to pods, my particular one that I like, um, New Rory or More, the two guys who left Joe Budden's podcast, they actually got a big deal from Stitcher. That was the big thing that was kind of like news 
when they got the deal because you know Joe Budden never really got the big million dollar deal then these guys leave and they left and they got I think a 10 million dollar deal from Stitcher and now Stitcher is one of the apps that's closing down also the podcasting side of things so maybe there is a, po- a bubble popping I don't really know how to how to, how to see it so um, the end of the podcasting era it's the end of the podcast series, it says here. Stitcher, a popular podcast app, has announced that it will be shutting down in August. The podcast platform, which officially um, will close in August 20, sorry, August 29th, um, just over 15 years after it first launched. Um, the company was founded in 2008 and was one of the earliest podcast player platforms launched specifically for podcast listeners. Stitcher was subsequently acquired by Deezer, Midroll Media um, over the years before Sirius XM bought the company for 325 million in 2020 Sirius is an interesting thing because if i'm not mistaken doesn't Sirius in america have a deal with some car company that's always a, that's a very interesting deal that they made in it so all the cars they sell i think have a built-in Sirius play or something am I, am I am i right i think i remember reading that there's some car manufacturer that has a Sirius deal who is that do you guys remember what i'm talking about does that make sense i'm surprised Sirius is even still around but I guess radio in some places is still super, super popular. In a note posted in a newly added Stitcher farewell on this website, Stitcher explains why the app is shutting down. Sirius XM, the owner of Stitcher, is focused on incorporating podcasts into the flagship Sirius XM subscription business, and subscribers can listen to a podcast with a Sirius XM app. So, yeah, um, almost all of the people are saying, okay, cool. So, um, I don't know. I'm not really sure if I believe the whole podcasting bubble thing has popped. I just think there was too many. I think someone mentioned in the chat, oversaturation. There definitely is podcast fatigue. The ones that were not good are the ones that are failing. I don't think I've heard of any app or platform that was good that's failed. All the ones that are good are still getting high numbers. Um, all the platforms that people still use are still getting good listeners. Uh, listenership, like for instance, my podcast, The Agassino Zynga Show, and this one I uploaded on the audio platforms, the two main platforms that people listening to them from are Apple and Pod- and Spotify. So clearly the listeners are, st- are there. Um, it's just a shame that the apps themselves are failing and obviously the podcasters who just came in it for a bag are not getting it. But I can't be mad at them. It's similar similar to the NFT thing and crypto. Like getting while it's hot, make your money and then duck, but it's not going to last forever. So it kind of is what it is. It kind of is what it is.